Hello guys and welcome to another track guide video and today we are at Monza and of course I have to say I'm using the WRX at this one and I made it into the top 10 so P3 in the world and this lap can actually be a little bit better than it is I made a couple of mistakes but I'll try to do my best to explain everything that I've done on the track how you can actually make yourself a little bit quicker and that's about it so without further ado guys let's get going Okay, let's get going with this track guide, and I said, be free in the world, and I've done a little mistake right there. So, 150 meter sign is usually the spot for braking. So, 125 is where I'm always trying to kind of get, and you can also see the patch right there, it's around that 125. So, this point indicates that I should start turning and also downshifting into first, but quickly... I mean, I didn't upshift into second, but you should upshift into second because it's going to give you better ability to turn. Plus, you need to attack this corner. So really, really attack it and make sure that the car is straight. So you're kind of attacking the second part of the chicane. So you can actually get the better line and you can straighten up the car faster. And in the end, you know, once the car is straightened up, you can really put the power down and the car is not really going to slide like it would when you're turning the wheel. So here... I'm looking at the patch, it's kind of, when it's too bright, it's really, really hard to see, but just when you pass the 150 meter sign, and I'm breaking until this point. So I'm not turning before this point, because I'm, I'm really gonna explain why. As you go over the curbs, so you need, to you need to carry the speed, but you also need kind of a straight line through this section. So that's why I'm taking that part a little bit later than I normally would, but it's also very easy to pick up a penalty, and what can I say? It's easy to pick up a penalty yeah here 50 meter sign at about 30 35 i'm starting to starting to kind of turn and break at the same time but just when i get to this patch i'm mostly kind of breaking trail breaking or a little bit of coasting reaching that patch indicates okay it's time to get on the power and time to get the most out of that turn and most out of that corner so here 50 meter sign a little bit later i would say but very very hard on the brakes but for a very very short while and then um i've seen that the, the leader uh p1 in the world is using third gear i tested out third didn't really see I, I didn't really see any kind of good result out of that so i think fourth gear is probably the best option i mean maybe for this car for other cars it might be a little bit different but yeah, that's about it. So another patch on the right, breaking the straight line. Look at the curb. The curb indicates for you to start turning in, downshifting, and I upshift in the fourth. But this is now what's making all of this so important. So you can see the curbs, those two, the three little curbs. So I try to get to the inside of those little curves for the first two ones. Then I try to avoid the next, the next one on the right, and of course the next one on the left. So you're trying to get off the throttle a little bit so you can take the inside of that curb or two curbs and then you just you know you take yourself a nice and easy line and the exit is i have to say much much quicker it's just so much quicker but now in between the 100 and the 50 meter sign at about 75 you break and already turn again so i took this line a little bit wider than i normally would but it proved to be even better so i don't know how it worked like but i was reaching up that pole up shifting to four gear and i got a very 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 good result and you know somehow the car actually became a little bit quicker like this so i don't know but i got quicker so a 46.5 it worked that line worked and yeah i hope this guide is going to help you guys so if it's going to help please make sure that you hit the like button and you might even want to subscribe to my channel yeah so once again thank you very much for watching this and i'll catch you guys next time bye